Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make brown eyes pop. So this is the look, if you want me to get in closer. It's just a really nice uh, smoky purple look. I really, really like it. I didn't green eyes. <laughs> The next look in the series, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do hazel or green first. Next look in the series is going to be green. If you want to see how to get your blue eyes to pop, I'll put a link to that video down below. I already recorded it. And um, as I go recording the rest of the videos, I will link them in the bottom so you can click them if you want to see them. So, um, of course, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So as we start every video, we're going to use our Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm using the one in Sin. It's my favorite. So I'm just going to apply this all over the lid and blend it out with my finger. Purple base, I'm going to use the Smashbox Cream Liner Trio. And this came in the set for medium eyes. And it has a really pretty purple color right here which I'm going to apply all over my lid so you could just apply any um, well not all over my lid just on the lid right below the crease you can use any purple base that you want this one's a little dark which makes the look a little bit more smoky so if you want to make the look lighter you can use a lighter purple like a lavender or something if you want to be more precise with the application of it you can use a brush but I just use my finger because I mean whatever so that that color doesn't really crease up into your crease since it's a cream I like to right away apply a powder and I'm gonna use texture by Mac it's just this really nice medium tone brown with orange undertones in it I love it and I'm gonna use my Mac 224 to apply it so I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and apply it straight into my crease Okay, now we're going in with the Stila palette. This is the Stila In The Moment eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. And it comes with these really nice purple and neutral colors. We're basically going to use the entire top row for this look. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my MAC 239, so just a flat shadow brush, and the color Glance, which is this color right here, just a really pretty purple it's like a pure purple color so I'm going to take that color onto my brush and just pack it on to the lid if you're trying to pack on color tap it on rather than swipe it because by swiping it you're kind of getting it everywhere if you tap it you're concentrating the color where you want it take a little small eyeshadow brush this one's just from Michaels it's a low Cornell and I'm gonna take the color impulse which is the lighter purple right next to glance and I'm going to apply that into the inner corner of the eye right in here since we applied the uh, darker purple first it makes the color look even more purple and this is just gonna add a pop to the inner corner you could use instinct if you wanted if you didn't want to use the purple uh, but I like the way the purple looks. It just gives it a little something extra. With my uh, smudge brush from Costco, you can just use any brush that you like to apply colors into your crease. I'm using this one because it's a little bit more stiff and it's going to get it exactly where I want it. I'm going to take the color Catalyst, which is a black with like purple. A black with like purple and like reddish sparkles in it. It's really gorgeous. I'm just going to pack that color onto my brush, tap off the excess, and apply it just in the outer corner and bringing it in slightly. So once I pack it into the outer corner, I'm kind of blending with whatever's left on the brush and I'm blending it in. Now with my 217, which is another, you know, blending brush, a little bit smaller than the 224, I'm going to take um, impro Improvise, sorry, I don't know why I couldn't read that for a second. I'm going to take Improvise, which is this color right here, a nice dark purple, and I'm going to blend out that black that we just applied. So this, I'm just doing windshield wiper motions. 
and blending the black. Now with your 224, uh, the brush that you use in the beginning, I'm not going to add any color to it. I'm just going to use it to blend out the edges of those dark colors. For my highlight, I'm going to use that Instinct, which is the lightest color in the palette. This one right here. It's like a light champagne. It's really gorgeous. It has a shimmer to it. I'm going to use my Elf C brush, which I always use for my highlight. It's my favorite. I feel like I'm saying favorite a lot. Am I? Probably. And we're just going to pack this right underneath the brow. Liner. Um... I'm going to be using my NARS Larger Than Life Black. It's a Via Viento. In the blue video that I just posted or that I posted prior, I said Via Apia. That's not the color. It's Via Viento is the black one. And then I'm going to use the Stila Smudge Stick in Tetra, which comes with the palette. You can only get it in the palette, and it's just a nice purple liner. If you want, you can apply the purple to the top and the bottom if you like really purple, or you can apply the black to the top of the bottom if you don't feel comfortable using a colored eyeliner. I like using black on the top because it, I feel like it really defines my lash line. So I'm just going to apply this straight onto the top. Like that. I feel like it just gives the definitions that my lashes need. And then I'm going to take the purple um, smudge stick from Stila and apply it to the bottom. take um I'm gonna take improvise which is the dark purple that we use to blend out the black I'm gonna take that and I'm going to blend I mean I'm going to set the eyeliner so that's just gonna set it make sure it stays and then with my 212 brush from Mac um, to set it I just use a small sunny Akashic brush which I always use with my 212 brush from Mac I'm gonna take glance which is the nice purple color we used on the lid and I'm going to smudge it underneath. Usually I'd use a dark color for this, but since I want it to be like more purple, I'm using the purplier shade. If you want to make the look more uh, more smokier, sorry, you can use Improvise underneath too, and that's going to also give you that smoky look. But since I want to make it a little bit more purple and stands out-ish, I'm going to use Glance. And I'm just going to keep applying that until I get the intensity that I want. For lash line, um, you know, for top lashes, for liner, I'm going to use the Stila Stay All Day um, Liquid Liner. It's my favorite, and this is in black. Um, it just so happens that I'm using Stila, a lot of Stila in this look, but this is my favorite liquid liner. I'm going to do my brows real quick using Rich Sable from Revlon, which I always use, and just an angled brush. And I'm going to just apply it into my brows. For mascara, I've been using two. I've been layering, which I don't usually do. But um, I got this mascara, the um, Urban Decay Lush Lash in um, gratis. And using it by itself, I didn't like it. But layering it, my friend Paula recommended me to use it um, with a volumizing mascara since it's lengthening. So I've been doing that and I've been really liking it. So I'm going to apply this first. And this is a, a conditioning um growth serum infused conditioning mascara so it's good to apply this first anyway then i take my holy grail ysl full sills for the volume and i apply that right on top the eyes very simple smoky purple look i'm going to zoom out so that we can do the face okay so we're going to start off with Givenchy mr matte and this is my mattifying primer I use it every day because I love it. That's my grandmother walking around in the background. I already applied, um, sorry about that. I already applied a lip treatment before I did, I started my makeup to prep my lips. Then I'm going to apply the Makeup Forever HD primer. And that's going to go on my cheeks. Wherever I didn't apply the um, the mattifying is where this is going to go. I'm 
For foundation today, I'm going to be using MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. Um, has an SPF 15 and this is an NC35. It's a nice foundation, but it makes me look a little... I think it's water-based, I'm pretty sure. So it makes me look a little bit more glowy than I like, but since I'm using my mattifier, I'll be fine. And then the brush to apply it that I'm going to be using is my Sewing Akashic Flat, Sewing Akashic flat Top uh, Foundation Brush. So I'm just going to get the product on the brush, tap it onto my face, and just buff it in. And blend it to my neck because this shade is a little dark for me. But I'm kind of in this weird stage of I'm not super light like I was in the winter, but I'm getting tanner. So I'm not super tan though either because I'm in the beginning stages. So it's like a weird, weird color I'm at right now. But I like the coverage that it gives and I like the finish. I think it's pretty. I like this foundation because of the color. It makes me look a little bit more tan than I really am. So that's cool. Okay, for concealer, I'm using my Makeup Forever Lip Concealer, which I always use. And I'm just going to take the... Oh my goodness! Take it with my finger. So sorry about my phone. And I'm just going to apply it underneath my eye. I'm looking over here because there's a mirror over there, so it makes my life easier. And just, you know, apply it. Apply what you need. So you can see that I just tapped it on. And then I'm taking my um, Real Techniques. This is the Samantha Chapman brush. And this is the Deluxe Crease brush, which I've been loving for my concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead with that and kind of buff it in. And this gives it that amazing airbrush look. Really nice and flawless. Going to do the same thing to the other side. To set all of that, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD powder, just a translucent powder, and my Sephora Precise powder brush. And I'm just going to put this all over my face to set my makeup. bronzer I'm gonna use Laguna I was using Casino but now I'm using Laguna and I'm using a bronzing brush from Costco and I'm just applying it you know 3e motion into the neck contour I use Smashbox bronze light and it's just a matte bronzer use the angled cost angled Costco brush I just apply that lightly. I don't like a super heavy contour. Blush, I'm going to be using a Stila Convertible Color. I don't think you could get this one anymore. Um, this is in Gerberia, number 14. It's my favorite. I don't like really any of the ones that are available right now. So once I run out of this, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I already kind of hit pan, if you could see right there. So it's just a really pretty um, peachy shade. I really like it. I'm going to be using a stippling brush to apply it. This one's from Costco. So... The way I apply these is um, I never, since it's so creamy, I don't like to use my fingers first because I feel like it gets everywhere. So I like to use a brush, smile, and then blend it. That's how I like to apply it. And I apply creams over powders all the time. I know it's like a rule that you're not supposed to, but I've never had any issues with it like looking patchy or weird. For a highlighter, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Shimmer Powder in Champagne. This is what it looks like. My new favorite highlighter of life. And my MAC 109 brush. And I'm going to just put that right on the top here. It gives the best highlight. It's like so gorgeous. You guys have to check it out if you never have because this is something that I definitely reapply that's I mean definitely repurchase that's how much I like it for lips I'm doing something pretty neutral nothing crazy again because the eyes are so dark I'm gonna be using a lip liner and this one is by Smashbox it's the nude lip pencil in medium um, it's kind of a darker brownie lip liner but I really 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 have been obsessed with it um, another thing I'd repurchase because I love it that much. Um, so I'm going to just apply this to the lips. 
For a lipstick, I'm going to be using this one. It's just a light pink. Uh, this one is discontinued, but you can use any light pink. This is called Nude Rose, and it came out with the D-squared collection from MAC. Um, so I'm just applying that straight onto my lips. I'm going to be using Lorac Couture Shine, and the color is Hot, or like Hot Look, H-A-U-T-E. I love this lip gloss because it's like super pink. But underneath a nude, it just gives it more of a pinky look to it. So I'm just going to apply that right on top. So that's the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look. And uh, let me know if you try it out. Remember, you don't just have to have brown eyes to do this look. You can have any eye color if you just love purples or whatever. So um, let me know if you have any questions down below. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.